we shouldn't tolerate pedophiles grooming kids, so it's cool to shoot places where gay people hang out because that's what people like Tim Pool imply are happening there. How do we prevent the violence and stop the grooming? He's saying that they're equivalent when one of them isn't even happening. No one is grooming kids other than psychopaths like Matt Walsh. There's a clip of Matt Walsh saying that 16 year olds are the ideal age for pregnancy. And I guarantee you his response video is basically just going to be like, well, scientifically, you know, I was really talking about scientifically. I don't have any attraction to 16 year olds. I think, you know, we all understand here that, you know, 16 is below the legal age of consent, which, well, I think that's arbitrary. Uh, you know, I would not act on those urges, which, you know, that's a normal fucking way to behave. Oh, this is the response video. I don't want to see the response video. I want to see the original video. Okay, here it is. Jesus Christ. It's insane to me. If Hassan or if any fucking notable leftist, I mean, you can find a goddamn catalog of everything Hassan has ever said that's slightly fucking controversial, but motherfuckers like Matt Walsh have a fucking machine of... PR and media backing that prevents shit like this from getting out. That makes it harder for fucking people to actually expose them for the creepy pedophile fucks that they are. It fucking boils my blood. So this guy likes kids? Let's see. Let's let him answer that fucking question. In fact, ever since the beginning of time, teenage girls have been getting pregnant. It, it okay. used to be more common. The, the peak, ever since they started keeping records of these things, which they only started doing recently, like in the 20th century, uh, but ever since they started that's, keeping records... It, that's just like blatantly ahistorical, by the way. They started keeping records of these things in the, in the 20th century. Yeah, you know, 10,000 years of human history recorded. Nah, they only started keeping records of when they pr impregnated 16-year-olds in the 20th century. In 1957 was the peak for teenage pregnancy. 1957. Um, so to all of a sudden act like this phenomenon of girls getting pregnant at, that, at, a, at a young age that we consider young, 16 or 17, Baby to act, to that, like, that we consider young, normal, normal. It's a new thing. It's ridiculous. It's always been that way. Uh, even biologically, and, and this is me just stating, I'm, I'm just, right now I'm going to start by just stating facts. He's going to start off by just stating facts, you guys. 1957, there was tons of teenage pregnancies. Who knows why? Uh, we could maybe go into that if we look deeper. Or, or the way that maybe teenagers were married off. Maybe there was an influx of this whole thing. Maybe yeah, maybe women didn't have any fucking bodily autonomy. It's scary to think that Matt Walsh thinks that a minor child is prime age like fuck him. Why is that coming from my speakers? I can't fix that. <laughs> Yeah, literally, Matt Walsh is like, bring back 1957 so I can actually experience love from a woman who's 16 and basically enslaved to me. Like, what the fuck? It's a disembodied voice. Yeah, I, I don't really, I don't know how to fix that. Yeah, girls were married off. And it's because of purity culture. And Matt Walsh is implying that that's a good thing that we should go back to. Matt Walsh is a self-identified, and he puts it in his Twitter bio ironically, but he's actually a fucking theocratic fascist. Matt Walsh would own a slave if it were legal. Dude, he wants it to be legal. <laughs> Matt ironically marrying a minor. Yeah. More like Matt Walsh. <laughs> That's really funny. Matt Walsh. Matt Walsh would marry a minor if it were legal. Absolutely. fucking lootly Look at this guy. Are you serious? This man's a freak. Uh, I think that's the extent of the clip. There might be more of it. Let's take a look. It's not a new phenomenon. Fact number two. In fact, it's a phenomenon that was more common earlier in history. And for, you know, the first six to 10,000 years of human existence, it was a normal thing. Like, again, blatantly ahistorical. Uh, fact three. Girls between the ages of like 17 and 24 is when they're technically most fertile. Yeah. Oh. Hello? Yeah, Matt, you're going to talk about grooming. Okay, that's biological. That's a fact. Oh, right, just... we got a biologist over here. Okay, okay, awesome. Stating facts, that's all I'm doing. But what happened recently, and this is the, the fourth fact, recently in the last 30 years or so, we decided Please, that... Please, don't change the TTS <laughs> speaker, make it permanent. If I knew how it even became, I would, I would leave it but I can't guarantee it's gonna stay. I'm not gonna do anything to change it. 
I guess. <laughs> he could have just said 18. Yeah, he literally didn't have to say 17. He did the anime thing where it's like just right under that cutoff. I mean, earlier he was talking about 16 year olds, so. He sounds like a kid in my class saying, in the 1600s, it was normal to own slaves. Something he actually said. Yeah, no, absolutely. That's way too young to start a family. Why? And uh, because the problem is not per se teenage pregnancy. It's unwed pregnancy. That's the problem oh. in society. It's all Okay, impregnate as many fucking teenagers as you want. As long as you marry them. Thanks, Matt. I'm so glad that people listen to you with the little fucking walnut that rolls around in your brain. It's only problematic when, when- He sounds worse than Shane because Shane makes distasteful, like, comments like this with the tone of a joke. It's not a joke when Shane says it, but it has the tone of a joke. Matt Walsh is, like, pissed off about it. He's like, this is just a fact. He's just, he's angry. Like, listen to this fucker. When, when you are not married and- He's fucking peeking the microphone because he's pissed off. Don't have the man there to help you take care of the kids because he's a coward. That's the only problem with teenage pregnancy. That's the only problem with marrying off people. That's yeah. the only problem with making sure- when Also, listen, I'm not a TYT hater. I think they've done a lot of, you know, good work. I think they're like, fuck my phone. I think they're, you know, a good pillar as far as like online leftism goes. They've been around for a long time, but holy shit, they gotta have better audio quality than this. They gotta like actually get it together. They upload videos like to this day that look like they were recorded on Zoom and sound like it too. It's kind of insane. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they get away with it. We need a man to take care of this girl, by the way. Yeah, you would maybe you wouldn't need a man if you were getting, you know, a women pregnant, Matt, instead of children. Literal children. I don't want to give away my age because I'm not 18 yet, but I'm very much so around the age of what he's talking about, as well as being AFAB and hearing a fucking over 30-year-old man talk about me getting pregnant and being the most fertile since shutters around my whole body, and it should. Yeah, I would rather trust my daughter with a drag queen during story time than any male conservative because they all say the same slash similar things. They all have these barbaric views of women and marriage. It's disgusting. It's fucking caveman shit. And that's the thing, too. When, like, conservatives make the drag queen grooming argument in the same with the same energy as they made the trans bathroom argument, where they're going to be like, well, some, some drag queen's going to go in and, and groom children. They could just dress up. Watch, I'm Matt Walsh, and watch as I dress up as a drag queen and then groom children to show you how easy it would be if it ever happened to somebody else. Like, we're, we're fucking one step away from that. You know what I mean? He would do that, too. He would do that! That's what I'm saying! When will men learn that they aren't superior? We are all just silly little people on a rock. I mean... They'll never learn that because they're taught that. We are taught that as a society. The things that Matt Walsh is saying are things that children are being groomed to think in Sunday school, in fucking private schools, in home schools, all over the fucking country. Barbaric is an understatement. It's horrid and fucking detestable. It's true. Public schools too. Yeah, for sure. Not as commonly, but for sure. Men dominate Western culture. Yeah, like it's, it's immutable. And, you know, people like Matt Walsh are the ardent defenders of it that was the original clip i don't know if there's any more no because tit does this thing where they're like here's uh here's this guy to talk about it <laughs> i want to see his response to that where he just says oh well biologically i uh you know so <laughs> oh my god he looks like he was crying biologically i'm correct and i wasn't saying i would have sex with any 16 year olds i'm just saying that that is when they are most fertile it's an old clip. He's going to say that, too. He's going to say, it's an old clip from several years ago, even though it's not relevant. Yeah, when they started digging up things from 15 years ago to defame you, you know you're doing something good. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Here's the thing. I am all for rehabilitative attitudes. I am all for, you know, looking at someone's tweet from fucking 10, 15, 20 years ago and being like, hey, this is an old thing that you posted you probably don't think that way anymore. Like, when people, uh, who's the Shang-Chi actor? Simu Lu. When people brought up, like, his old Reddit from, like, fucking 20 years ago. And it's like, you can't do that. He's clearly not the same person when he's posting, like, incel takes on Reddit. You know what I mean? Fertile is such a gross word that is classic objectifying and so gross. Yeah. 
it's literally objectifying because it's equating you to soil or maybe livestock at best, if I'm being charitable. And I think, you know, that's the case. God, he's so hot. That's the case just in general, right? I think you should absolutely give people the benefit of the doubt that they have changed when you see them have an old take that's a bad take. But when you dig up something from 15 years ago on Matt Walsh and it's still perfectly in line with his worldview and there's no evidence that he's ever changed and he still thinks that way and you can reasonably assume that he still thinks that way and he's publicly saying these kinds of things. It doesn't matter how old it is. He might as well have said that fucking clip yesterday because he's the same stupid, incel, pedophile fuck. The same one. Matt Walsh also made a What is a Woman book. Oh, awesome. Because the fucking documentary did not do very well, I bet you. A masterclass in how to deal with a cancellation mob. Matt, you're an inspiration. Jesus Christ. All right, let's check this out. So, now it's my turn. And I expected that something like this might happen. It had to. Had to happen. Yeah, it had to. Because there is so much shit you've said on the internet because you are a pedophile. Uh, I've been successful. Not to mention, this is only like secondary, right? Matt Walsh is a pedophile, without a doubt. And this is only secondary to my initial suspicion of him being a pedophile. This just confirms it for sure. But initially, the main reason I started saying this is because in the What is a Woman documentary, he literally puts up what he would believe is child porn. It's the chest of a, I think, 16 or 17 year old minor who is an AFAB person who identifies as a man. So I would say that's a male chest and therefore not child porn. But because it's a minor and because it's an AFAB person, Matt Walsh thinks that's child porn. And he knowingly put it in his own fucking documentary. So Lord only fucking knows what else this fucker has on his hard drive. You know what I mean? And you know, hey, you know what Matt Walsh would say? Do you know what Matt Walsh would say if there was some ugly, nerd emoji looking, bearded, soy boy cuck out there grooming kids, having fucking child porn on his fucking computer, and going around teaching people what gender and biology is? Do you know what he would say? He would say, we have to do something about this. He would say, someone has to do something about this. And guess what happens? Something gets done, and a nightclub gets shot up. And gay people die. We need to do something about Matt Walsh. Fucking cocksucker. <sighs> and fighting against the left's agenda. It's stochastic terrorism. It is. It is. When you incite violence that may or may not happen, and if it does, you have no idea the consequences of it. Tucker Carlson does it every single night on America's most popular news broadcast. Especially the trans agenda, and especially recently. Those the trans agenda. Tell me what it is, cocksucker. What's the trans agenda? God, I hate this motherfucker. Or the sexual mutilation of children know mm -hmm. full well. Yes, yeah, sexual mutilation. I fucking hate him so much. He's such a fucking weasel. I am a threat to them. Uh-huh. Because we're winning mm. and they're losing. And they know that too. And they can't engage with our with our arguments. They can't... Uh... Oh, I can engage with Matt's arguments all fucking day. Trust me. Oh, I can engage with my arguments. Let me introduce you to my fucking fists, facts, and logic. Weasel is such an epic insult. Look at him. He looks like a weasel. <laughs> yeah, trans agenda. And what the fuck... Listen, trigger warning for a sec for self-harm, but what the fuck is Matt Walsh's goal? He's like, we're winning the ideological battle against the trans agenda. Yeah, the more the trans suicide rate goes up, the more we're fucking winning. That's what he's trying to say. Fucking disgusting. They think they're winning. In his eyes, they are because he's still getting transphobic legislation passed. He's still advocating directly for trans legislation with the help of fucking brain-dead moron creators like fucking shoe on head amplifying his message. <sighs> Oppose us on the battlefield. <laughs> Does he live in a hotel? <laughs> I love, I love Twitch chat. 
I'm like, I'm yelling. I'm so fucking pissed off. And then someone will notice the most hilarious thing in the chat. <laughs> she went ahead amplified him. No, but she amplifies the same kind of messaging. She has tweeted fucking, there's a child next to a drag queen. Oh, God, somebody kill him. <laughs> the child and the drag queen, I guess. And then that shit pops off, and then Matt Walsh, Matt Walsh fucking loves that. He'll quote tweet it and be like, this is actually a great threat to our Western society. And if you are fucking posting anything that this fucking fascist grifter fuck agrees with, then there's something wrong with you. Especially when it comes to fucking queer issues. Are you kidding? Remember when she, people were saying she was based? Now, they fucking tried, dude. I don't know if she hired a fucking PR firm or what, but that's crazy. She advocated for Medicare for all, but you know who she did it for? Fucking Tulsi Gabbard. She was a Tulsi stan. A transphobic grifter right wing fuck just like her. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, she's like anti SJW. That's like the big thing that she like popped off. Tulsi's right wing. Yes. <laughs> yes. Always has been. He looks like he's in a Roblox map. He looks like he's in a VR demo room to show you how good the textures are. ...of ideas, so instead they look for another way. And now they're... He looks, he looks like he's been either crying or his face is, like, made of clay. Why does his face look like that? Fucking lives in an Ikea, I know. They're convinced they found their kill shot against me by using the same method they always use, which is digging... Yeah, he's in the metaverse up ancient history doing the internet equivalent of rummaging through garbage cans hey man if something's in your garbage can it means you used it you used that talking point and you use the attitudes that founded that talking point okay okay cool yeah it's not in your trash can it's in your fucking porn folder buddy also it's like yeah you used to be a lot less careful with your words you used to have worse media training that's why people go back I don't have to go back to look at Matt Walsh and call him a pedophile fuck, but some people, some people do. <laughs> to find things that were done and said years ago, which can be used to defame and they hope silence me today. I don't want to silence him. I want him to speak as loudly as he wants to. Because every fucking day he says something, I'm going to prove him wrong. And people like me will prove him wrong. And that's the most important thing that we need to remember as the internet continues to get more and more fucking right wing. And the world continues to get to be more of a fucking dangerous place for anyone that doesn't look exactly like this stupid brain dead fuck. It's important to remember I have a silencer. It's important to remember that fucking there are always going to be people who fucking tells us stupid asshole to shut the fuck up. So yes, my, my, PR team over at Media Matters apparently wasn't satisfied to promote just my current show and all the work they do there. So they decided to go back 15 years to my time as a rock radio host on an obscure station in... Uh, what, did, what did I tell you? I told you he was going to say it's so long ago, and even though it's irrelevant to the conversation. Delaware, which is also an obscure state. And they spent, it would seem, many tedious hours. The shirt doesn't fit him. These buttons are struggling to hold it together. Get a bigger shirt, you idiot. Listening to segments and bits from my time as a shock jock in my early 20s, it could not have been easy to sit through. Um, I, I commend their persistence, at least. And now they've compiled their findings into an expose that promises to reveal my, quote, sordid past. Honestly, I, I never thought of myself as having a dude how does anyone listen to this guy he's so fucking boring he's so fucking boring dude sordid existence yeah he talks so slow i know sorted past yeah yeah you say M matt says that women can't have or that men can't have tits no and yet curious life was far too boring and sort of uh, banal and normal for that but it turns out that I'm more interested. Oh, and thank you, Renism, for the tier one. In person than I had previously thought. So as for the vultures at Media Matters and the left... Oh my fucking... How, 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 how? Look at this fucking... No one watched this, Matt. 
and lots of offensive activities. All of that, of course, is true. Um, they also accuse me okay. of physically abusing our radio interns. Okay, dude, uh, uh, Jesus Christ. I don't even care about this. I know you're a fucking huge piece of shit. Everyone knows. By tasing one of them as a joke. That's, that's a, also true. That's, and I uh, Yeah, I'm not fucking... Uh, obviously, you're fucking physically abusive because you're a little man. Admit, still funny. In fairness, I got tased too. In fact, awesome. I invented a game back in those days called Taser Trivia, where, as the name suggests, you are asked trivia questions, and if you get it wrong, you get tased. Uh, Media Matters didn't post that video, uh, but, but they should have because it's quite shocking, literally and figuratively. So I'll post it for you now. Here it is. Oh Category will be science and nature. Okay. And the three question. What astrological chart takes its name? I don't want to watch this stupid fucking shit. Now, if I should be canceled for anything, uh, it, for, it should be for, for being such a, such a pansy in that video. Uh, that was embarrassing, actually. Get it together. I mean, it does hurt to get, to get tased. And for some reason, we decided to add the blindfolds into it. As well. I hate you. Shut up. I can't do this. Oh, yeah. Also, we can see why Matt Walsh has a beard, at least. This is why Matt Walsh has a beard. Because this is what he looks like without it. Oh, yeah, let's go. I, this is crazy. Dude, look at his fucking Bible necklace. God, he's such a fucking loser. Here, most replayed. Stand up against them. This is what happens. They want to make me into another head on a spike, one of many. <laughs> they put out on the edge of town a warning to anyone else who might think about breeding, in your words, 16 year old girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's a really good idea, Matt. Disobeying their rules. So here's my official answer for the record um, Kiss my ass. I do wow, not wow. In fact, by all rights, you sick freaks should be the ones apologizing to me for uh, lying and defaming me. And yeah, if, it's a de if, if, if they're defaming you, file a suit. Slander? When, sorry, excuse me, libel. Libel is really easy to litigate against, right? You just have to prove them wrong. The same reason I can do this all day. Pedophile. Matt Walsh is a pedophile because if he were to take me to court, if he were to sue me for slander or libel, it's in his documentary. He meets the textbook definition for a pedophile. I can't... Does he fucking talk about the fucking breeding shit? Or does he just sh try to bore you to death so nobody actually watches this video? We had the author of that book, whose name I forget, on the show. And he annoyed us for reasons that I also forget. So we said we were going to burn his book in reprisal. And we did. And again, it was funny. Though in hindsight, probably not the best thing to do in the middle of a political campaign. But the left is not satisfied to merely accuse me of... Dude, no one cares about that! <laughs> in turn, to lick the inside of a dumpster. Which again... Why is this what he's talking about? Black and the other white. It was very uh, high concept sort of work. And it, it worked better on paper than it did in execution, I can tell you. But not all of our prank calls were racially charged. Only most of them were. We did one where I called a hotel pretending to be, pretending to be a wizard who had left his magical sword in his room. This is worse than what I predicted. Also, what a horrible bit. Oh my God. Like, what a horrible, pathetic response. And all of his audience is eating it up because he said, kiss my ass. He did the fucking thing where he was like, I don't care. You are a hero. This is a pedophile. He just didn't address it. He just ignored it. That's awesome. That's so cool, man. But my political extremism wasn't confined to yelling at people at uh, Tea Party rallies. Oh thing my God, dude. What do you think this is what people care about? This is crazy. I'm losing my mind. Because he's a professional grifter, he will never admit to the shit he actually said that would rupture the grift. Dude, I literally just thought he would deflect. I thought he would dodge. He can't even do that, dude. He's fat rolling. Dark souls. Kiss my A-word, you sick bird. Oh, the right, the side that is famous, concer uh, famously concerned about saving our children, calling a pedophile a hero. Yeah, look at that. He's been attacked so harshly. Feminists hate men, but they also want to be men. Oh, this is an old Daily Wire video. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Dude, come on. Come on. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Matt Walsh was uh, cutting some nice agitated propaganda in his stupid t-shirt and blazer combo. He looks like a literal child. He dresses like a child for the brain he has. Let's take a look at what he said about the Club Q shooting just three days after five people's bodies had even cooled down from being alive. Family-friendly drag shows, quote-unquote, have two purposes. One, from the drag queen's perspective, is to satisfy their fetish for cross-dressing in front of children. Nope. Nobody thinks that. Not a thing. Not even a 
single article on the entire planet that wasn't written by Matt Walsh or Ben Shapiro supports that. Not even a fetish. Weird guy. The other on a more macro level is to indoctrinate children into queer That's theory. Bullshit. To put it Yeah, he just lies. Yep. Yep. They're trying to convert your kids into being queer, implying that being gay is a choice. Because that's still what he thinks. It's simply the point of Drag Queen Story Hour and the child, the, the supposed family friendly drag shows mm -hmm. is to turn your children queer. This is the core. This is what every single right wing ideology is based on is that being gay is a choice and you can trick people into doing it. Why is there a naked Matt Walsh plush in the background? Ugh, what the fuck? Weird guy. What the fuck is that? This guy is so weird. Why? <laughs> oh, why does anyone take it seriously? I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Let's track him down to where he lives. Well, his address is. <clears throat> anyway, uh, I don't. I don't. I don't need to speak anymore. That is the goal. It, is it a baby in a diaper? It's him as like a. I think it is him as a baby. I don't get it. And whenever you say that, what I just said right there is going to be clipped by Media Matters. Hello, everybody on Twitter. Um, the people who invented it stated explicitly that that is the point. The people, children. sorry, the people that invented drag. Children live queerly. <laughs> yeah, this is also stemming from the idea that queer kids don't exist. And that also that kids will go and go to a story hour that they don't want to go to. Like, a six-year-old is just going to have a good time if they like fucking going to the public library. I just don't get it. Drag is from Shakespeare. Because <laughs> women weren't allowed to act true. Thank you for the stick bug. Okay, I've been stick bugged. I get it. I'm a little cranky for the stick That's bug. The I'm just kidding. I don't care. Good stick bug. Air quote. And the thing about the left is that what they believe and what they... Actually, I'm making all of my spike children to be gay and Matt cannot do anything about it. True. It is a choice to be gay, actually. I'm choosing every day just to piss off Matt Walsh. Do. All of it is so horrifying, so mm -hmm. perverse, so mm -hmm. degraded, mm -hmm. that if you just quote them, then you somehow sound like the crazy one. If you Bro, he's saying, like, it's it's crazy. He's just he's just so stupid that he can't understand the words that he's reading. Yeah, I choose to be queer because it's way fucking cooler. <laughs> I choose to be queer because I'm not fucking I'm not a dork. Does the book in the back say what is a woman? Yeah, he there's a novelization of his dog shit documentary. If you quote what they are saying, it may, it sounds crazy just to say it out loud because it's so horrifying. You just said. Encourage kids to live queerly. That isn't horrifying if you're not stupid. I'm tired, right? Like, you can call him homophobic. He will proudly say yes. You can call him transphobic, and again, he'll be like, yup, because they deserve it. But, like, it doesn't matter. You can call him all the things that he's doing. You can point out his bigotry, and you can call him a bigot. And he's like, well, if I'm a bigot, then it's correct to be a bigot. Then I don't want to not, I don't want to be woke. It, it's at the core of all of this anti-woke fucking cock fucking sucking bullshit is that fucking thought so you just have to say you are stupid <laughs> you just have to like show them for the like because they have to be willfully ignorant and willfully dumb for their worldview to make sense they have to choose it's not a choice to be gay it's a choice to be an idiot like matt walsh because it makes money and he's been doing it for years. Look at this. Fucking 2018. Feminists hate men, but they also want to be men. The Matt Walsh Show. I really wish we can go back to the days where the Daily Wire was posting car rants from fucking Star Trek fanboy Matt Walsh. <laughs> I really wish we could go back to this. I really wish they didn't give him a set <laughs> to make him think... That he has some sort of legitimacy. I think I'm bisexual, so clearly the left's agenda is working. <laughs> there is no thinking you're bisexual. Make your decision. <laughs> Yet it's true. 
And this is the reason the left cares so much about this, and they defend it so vigorously. Because according to the left, think about this. According to the left, the drag queen child combination has become dangerous. They say it's a life. Check it out. If you just type in drag queen story hour, you know, the thing he's saying is a fetish. And you look at any of the pictures. This is the most sexual one. And it's not sexual. What is sexual about this? What? What is dangerous about this to Matt Walsh? This is in a child's mind. This is just playing fucking dress up. That's the maximum amount of understanding that they have. And for all intents and purposes, it fucking might as well be. You know, you're right. Gay people existing is inherently sexual. You're right. Wow. You know what? Look at the danger that this toddler is in. This 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 drag queen is trying to turn this baby gay. <laughs> That's what's happening in this picture, according to Matthew. Oh, yeah, look how sexual this is. <laughs> yeah, man, look at that. <laughs> Matt Walsh looks at this and says, this is a fetish. Because he's a pedophile. This is like a Dr. Seuss character, dude. Lafayette's library's Drag Queen Story Hour sparks support and outrage. Imagine being outraged at this. If you think this shouldn't exist, then I'm sorry you shouldn't be fucking doing beauty pageants. You shouldn't be doing, which I don't agree with beauty pageants for children anyway, I think that's fucked up. But also, like, you shouldn't do fucking a party where you hire someone to fucking dress up as a mermaid for your kid. This is basically the same thing. Like, come on, man. How do you fucking think this is a fetish? This person's made of tubes. <laughs> this is a fucking, this is a fucking, uh, what's that fucking show? God damn it. What is it? With the orange guy. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, this is Yo Gabba Gabba. <laughs> that's, a, that's a Yo Gabba Gabba character, dude. Yeah, clowns are groomers. <laughs> yeah, man. Rainbow dress. <laughs> like, what the fuck is the- Come on, man! <laughs> this is crazy! This is just looks well, like a normal person! ...all the time, and there was always a drag character cause that is a traditional role in traditional British pantomime, yeah. and nobody had a problem because this is so dumb, I hate this guy. I'm sure they have a problem with it now. Because culture's changed, baby. <sighs> I'm lightheaded. Because Matt Walsh gets turned on by this. Yeah, wow. Matt Walsh looks at this and he says, this, this, no one could possibly want to do this unless it was sexual. That's what Matt Walsh says. That's how Matt Walsh sees this. We are looking into the mind of a very, very sick man. Projection. Pure projection. Lightning rod for violent backlash. Right? That's what they said. And it's greatly exaggerated, of course. Mostly it's invented out of whole cloth, actually. But, but even by their version of events... If it's causing this much chaos and violence, why do you insist on continuing to do it? Because now it's an issue. Because now if you stop doing it, the Proud Boys win. If you stop doing it, you're showing, especially kids, that you can just threaten queerness away. Which is the purely antithetical to everything queer movements have stood for in America. And this is, again... An example of Matt Walsh just not knowing American history. Fully understanding. As someone who loves history, my biggest point of radicalization was taking a fucking college history class with a professor that taught American history as it actually was. Because when you learn about Stonewall, because when you learn about queerness as it has struggled to exist and the corners it's been shoved into in America, you can never be on this piece of shit side. If according to you, it's like putting people's lives at risk, if, if the- In America, going to school puts your life at risk, so.
The effort to have men- If the people I'm telling to go kill you are gonna kill you, then stop! And cross-dress in front of children is putting people's lives at risk. Why are you still doing it? Is it that important to you? Yeah, cross-dressing. One of those fucking drag queens is wearing a tube dress. I wonder if he has, like, hobbies? No. None of these guys have hobbies. As you can see, a different studio today. I, this is uh, the, our other car, or the big car, as our kids call it. Or um, as my wife, my, my wife God. says that it's her car because it has all the car seats in it. And so she's the one driving it around for most of the day. But I, this is who this man is. I strenuously object to that um, description of it. Anyway, over the course of the um, of this past weekend, some controversy erupted. And you know it's a big deal. Like, I think it's really important to show this. Because this is the, he's the same guy. He's talking the same shit. And he has the same fucking cadence. He hasn't changed his content. He just got a better camera. But for some reason, this video, after, you know, almost five years, only has 100,000 views. That's interesting. But he's, you know, really popping off now. And all it has to do with is funding. Just has money now. So he can force his way into your fucking Twitter feed. So he can force his way into the, you know, general discourse. It actually looks like you. Oh, it's hideous. It's a horrible beard. When there's controversy. I mean, in our society, if there's controversy, you know something serious has happened. Because his wife hates him. I don't think his wife's real. I think this is just a car full of car seats that he got from Goodwill. It's, it's, it's controversy is so rare these days, right? It's like there's hardly ever anything that people are outraged about so if they're getting outraged you know that it can't be uh frivolous if matt walsh didn't do what he does if matt walsh was not a daily wire political commentator he would be the most fucking annoying guy at your work because that's all he is he is the most annoying guy at your work with a gigantic platform yeah also fix your glasses dude how do you look like that? Oh What's wrong with your face? Yeah, his beard texture isn't fucking loading. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. I can't close right? I can't close the Matt Walsh tab. Okay, I can I guess. Weird guy.